Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm sorry it's been a little while. Uh, I was intending to do this video when I um, made sure that this is what was working for me and this is how I was going to stay using this book. This is the Hobonichi Cousin. Oh, hi Chloe. Um, hold on. And I've been using it, yeah, for work and I've absolutely loved it. I just wanted to make sure that it was something I was going to stick with. Uh, before I was with a bunch of... Um, moleskins in um, a maverick in wide I think from Chic Sparrow but I kind of like how this is set up because it makes a lot more sense for me to have the monthly weekly daily everything kind of laid out um, before because in the moleskins I was able to write everything down but it was um, there was no structure to it really so I wound up searching for a lot of things um, and wasting time and then that kind of kept me from using it all the time, I would just write on random pieces of paper instead. So, in uh, when I got the Hobonichi Weeks, um, I forgot who, but someone described that there's stages of Hobonichi obsession. Um, maybe it was the vegan organizer, but she's completely right. Um, at first you start with one, you love it, and then you feel like you need all of them. So, of course, I ordered all of them. <laughs> um, I'm using the A6, right, I have it here. The A6 right now is like a daily journal. Um, Still have mixed feelings about it, but I'm go I'm sticking with it. Um, but this one I have absolutely fallen in love with, and I just use it as my work planner. So you're gonna have to excuse. There's a ton of sticky notes and information being covered up because let me sh hold one second. Sorry about that. My uh, dryer is being my washing machine is being really loud. Um, okay, so there's a lot of sensitive information in here. Um, there's a ton of people's names. That's really pretty much it. So I tried to cover up uh, what I could and you're gonna see a ton of sticky notes so I apologize about that but if you can't see anything or have any questions just let me know uh, the pen I'm using with this is the 0.5 um, uni this is what the type of pen that comes in the Hobonichi uh, like three barrel pen um, but it comes in 0.38 I want to see I think I have it here. No, I don't. Um, yeah, so in the, the Hobonichi pen that comes with it, it's 0.38, so I just got the 0.5 since it's a little bigger. So in the front, I have right now, um, this is in the pistachio and black cover. Uh, I'm having a little bit of a green obsession, so I ordered this one, and I figure the black is discreet enough. It's not obnoxious for work. Uh, in the front pockets, I have just some post-its. These clear post-its, which they're like transparent, which come from the Hobonichi store, they're pretty cool. Um, and then two stencils. I haven't used this stencil, but I use this one all the time, both in my weeks and in this one. I use it for the grid boxes or the triangles or the circles. Um, all right, so going in, I'm gonna make sure I don't flip to any pages I don't have covered. I'm not using this for anything. This is more just for reference right now. Uh, this is the year at a glance for 2016, 17, and 18. Then, okay, so here is where I start getting covered. <laughs> you know, you'll see all my black tabs. But um, I played around with using this for um, income that we were getting uh, for work, but I think it's going to work better for me as an index because in January it's easy to flip through things and find things. Um, but going forward, you know, as the months go by, it's going to be a lot easier if I have an index of what's going on. So I'm not indexing every day because there's some things I obviously don't need to go back to that are just notes. But anything that I may need to go back to, I'm putting in um, like a turquoise, I'm highlighting with my mild liners. And then anything that's like really important that I know I need to get back to, I was putting in red. So I think that that'll stick out a little bit more, and that seems to be a pretty good plan for now. I'm not really using the top or bottom for anything else. Um, this, I'm just checking off. What's covered up here is just um, making sure a client gets something um, to me for that month. And once she does, then I, I can cross that off. So let's see. Okay, so this is the second page. I want to just make sure I'm not flipping anywhere. Okay, so this I'm just using as a monthly um, where I'm marking off different events for my work and then days off that I normally wouldn't have off I'm just highlighting in turquoise just so I could keep track of it because I have a set number of days off I can take a year um, so I'm just keeping track of that and then 
different like um, okay so here we have a camp starting where I work so we put that in and then going forward all the events for my work will be in here and yeah again just keeping track of different days okay and then that's I haven't done too much pre-planning yet but I will now skip to the what is this the week at a glance okay so this I covered all of their names but I wanted to give you um, kind of an idea of how I'm using it um, I'm kind of been concentrated in the middle. I mark when I have off and I haven't needed the hourly for my days off. Um, in this spread, I'm using it in my daily. You'll see later if I really have a crazy busy day. Um, so these are all my clients that I teach and I mark off if they have an hour lesson, a half hour lesson, um, or basically different appointments. Sometimes we'll have meetings and I'll block that off. And then, or sometimes I'll need to do a certain horse and I'll block that off. Um, and that's been working really well just so I have something to look back to if I need to know how many lessons somebody had a week or something like that. It's, it's really easy to have it all laid out this way um, instead of leafing through different notes. It's very clear just my different appointments for the day. Um, and then I can't really show you the rest of those pages. I'll show you a blank spread because uh, I didn't you know, block off all the names for all the weeks. And this is what a blank spread looks like if you're curious. Then let's see, so, okay, if I'm going in, making sure this is fine. Okay, so this is January 1st. I didn't get it on the 1st, I think I got it on the 2nd. Um, so the 1st, I just put all the passwords that are pertinent to um, my work that I would need to reference. And then going into this, I just started using it for notes. This is obviously the first few days I like doodle a lot. If I have extra space. Um, but yeah, so I blocked off different times. I'm off Monday and Tuesday. So these I kind of just wanted to see how this spread would work on my days off. And actually that's something I've been doing. That's the only time I'm using this for personal. Uh, for the rest of the personal, I have my weeks which yeah is like right here and this is what I'm using to mark down certain things I need to do in the day but then when it gets to Monday or Tuesday um, I need a little bit more space sometimes than this you know tiny little box that the weeks has so I've just been spreading it out on the daily page in my work um, in this book because I'm not using it obviously on my days off and I figured not to let them go to waste I could just use this but that's the only personal thing I think if I were to combine work and personal in here it would be a little bit too much information especially in the other spreads um, I think it would be a little overwhelming so I'm happy to have the rest of my personal stuff in my in my weeks and this for work uh, but yeah these were two days off that I had so then when I had to use it for work um, this is, yeah, so I just use this for like to do's that I had to do during the day, uh, stupid little doodle, random notes for the day, and that's exactly how I've been using it. This day was a little bit busier, so I wanted to map out on the timeline that's on the side of the uh, cousin here. It goes from uh, what it, technically four in the morning until four in the afternoon, but I only work from, well, I work from nine to eight normally. So I just block off what I need to so I can see it right on my page. And then, yeah, again, notes, to-dos. I use the check boxes and then just continue them down. Um, let's see. More doodling. I was sick this day. Um, this is another day off. Now I was, like, really busy and it was kind of stressful. So I was happy I had this. I did my to-dos. I blocked off what I wanted to get done when, and it made my day so much easier. It ran a lot smoother. I was able to get everything I needed to done. Um, and then this is just random notes. This is notes for a meeting we had. So this is something I obviously will index. Um, some days are a lot lighter than others. This is notes from a meeting. Uh, another doodle. I was playing with watercolor. This was my, um, you know, well, no, that was my day off. But it, when I got home on Sunday, I was trying to practice something. And let's see what else. So yeah, Monday and Tuesday, I didn't use it a ton, but still enough. Um, more notes. This was a list I needed to make, so I indexed that so I could go back to it. Uh, some days are really light. You'll see when I have extra space, I just draw. Um, let's see, I think that gives you a pretty good idea. I used a post-it note for something. I just stuck it in there. 
Uh, more doodling, more notes. My to-dos are always at the top. And this is then into February. Again, this was a little bit busy. I just needed to see it in the beginning of the day. I normally do this in the beginning of the day when I come in to work in the morning. Um, I kind of map out my day, and if I feel a little overwhelmed, I just time it out here, and it makes me feel a lot better. And the same when I have a day off. Um, I just time it out here, and when I have an allotted time for everything, everything seems to run a lot smoother. That I was just playing with a, a stencil. And you'll see, like, these days were super light. Obviously, I didn't do anything. And I'm not trying not to stress about the blank pages that I just leave, because that's how my day goes. Um, but it's certainly nice to have them on my days off. Uh, to have a designated space where I can write more if I need to. And this was a sketch for a Valentine's Day card. And that is it. So that's getting you up to now today. And yeah, there are times in my work where I really need to write down one or two things a day and sometimes absolutely nothing. So um, I'm trying to be flexible with myself for that, but I haven't actually needed more than a page, even on like my busiest days back here. I, I'm, I've been good with one page and I thought like coming up to here, I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna need more and I really never do. And that was for some pretty, um, for some pretty busy days. So I'm glad that this size is working out for me, the way it's laid out. Um, it's super efficient with the space. So you can get a lot done in this book. And this is an A5 size if you were to take if you're not familiar with the A5 size, if you were to take here, I have a piece of like computer paper that it's basically a piece of paper laid flat, give or take. And um, yeah, it's an excellent size. It's been working perfect for me. Um, I haven't used anything in the back or needed to yet. Maybe someday down the road I will, but right now that's all just blank. Um, yeah, and then the few note pages, it's all blank. Okay, so then in the back, what I keep in here right now, it's just a ton of work papers and like payroll information and all that um, random work papers. But it's really nice to be able to fold something in half and it fits perfectly back there. You don't need to like fold it up into little quarters or anything like that. You just fold it in half and stick it back here. Um, I also have this folder, which I got from Hobonichi. Let me see if I get it. I think it's really, I mean, this you could kind of put important papers or receipts in. I haven't used it yet. I could probably stick a lot of these smaller papers um, in here, but I like the idea of it. It's open on two sides and closed on the other two, so you could slip things in and keep it more protected, and that could fit either back here, or, I'm sorry, it's really dirty. I work in a barn, so it gets a little dirty, um, or it could slip back here in the, in the back pocket, and that fits really well in there. So however you'd like to use it, I'm loving using the pen with these uh, two gigantic pen loops. It keeps it closed and, you know, from anybody, really people aren't um, going to try to pry when it's shut like this. You could kind of just stick it to the side and no one really bothers with it. Um, but yeah, I've been absolutely adoring this. If you guys have any questions about it or want to see a different video on my other Hobonichis, just let me know. Um, and yeah, I hope this was helpful for someone, but otherwise I will speak to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.